Hi friends. Today we are going to see how to install Oracle database in our local machine. So the prerequisites are we have to download Oracle 12C from Oracle website and Java JDK. Right. So let's move on to Oracle website. So this is my oracle.com. Here, if you can scroll down, you'll find out a trial and downloads. There you can see download Oracle database. Just click on it and that will redirect you to a page where you can download the Oracle database. So first here, we need to sign up. If you don't have account, just sign up and sign in. Then we have to accept the license agreement and you can download whatever the release you require. Here I'm downloading Oracle Database 12C release 2 for Microsoft Windows. And just click on file one or see all. That will go ahead and download your database 12C. Once the download is completed, now we are going to download Java JDK. To download Java JDK, just move on to this particular URL. There also we have to accept the license agreement. Then we have to download the executable file based on your OS. Here, I'm going to use Windows. So I'm going to download Windows executable file. So once both are downloaded, we need to extract the database file. So to extract it, just right click on it and extract your files here. Once the extraction is completed, that will create a folder called database. Just open the folder. Here you can find out the setup, which is an executable file. Just right click on the setup and click on run as administrator. That will pop up a window. And if you can see here, starting Oracle Universal Installer. So just wait for some time. Good. The installer will open installation window. So the very first step, it is going to ask us email and my Oracle support password. You can skip it. If you want to skip this one, just uncheck and click on next. No worries, you just click on S and proceed. So here it will ask us three options, create and configure a database, install database software, upgrade an existing database. If you're creating it very first time, check the first option and click on next. In this window, we have to select desktop class and click on next. And here you can uh, use Windows built-in account and click on next. So are you sure you want to continue and click on S? Right, here we need to provide the database details. So this is the Oracle base where you can install my Oracle and this is the path. If you want to change, you can change it. I'm trying to change this one to DWBI under. Then uh, this is a software location. This is database file. This is database file location and database edition is a enterprise edition character set. I'm defaulting as a Unicode. This is my database name. I'm placing just a simple one here, database name as ORCL. Then we need to provide the password for the database. And make sure you have to remember this password. Password. Make sure that should be a capital letter, small letter, and one number. Right. Here I'm not going to create a, as a container database. Just uncheck it. Now click on next. Good. Now it's a prerequisite checks are going on. And just wait for some time. This is a response file. If you want to save it, you can save it. Else you can directly click on install. Just click on install. Now my database creation is going on. So just wait for some time. Good. The installation of Oracle database was 
successful. If you want to note down enterprise manager database URL, you can save it somewhere. This is the URL. I'm just copying it and saving in my desktop for future purpose. Right. Now, now go to start uh, windows and just open your SQL developer or just for set your SQL developer. So in the SQL developer, we are going to write all our queries. So just uh, go here and go to Oracle. Just expand this one. And here we can see SQL developer. See here, this is the SQL developer. So now my SQL developer is opening. Here, click on no. Right, this is my SQL developer where we are going to write our queries. So here we are going to create a connections first. Uh, I'm going to be create my uh, administration connection for the very first time. So just click on plus here. Here we need to provide the administration connection first. So I'm trying to provide here system here. Sys and provide the password which we have given a uh, very first time while creating our database and connection type is a basic uh, role is a sys tba role so here my host name is localhost port is 1521 and here i'm using service name as orcl if you can remember our installation there we have given oracle database name as orcl so just trust your connection status is success now click on connect. Right, so now we are in a window where we can write our queries. So this is default our system, this is administration access. So we are not going to do anything in the administration user. We are going to create a new user where we can do all our queries. So for example, here I'm going to create user DWBA other videos identified by DWBA other DWBA other underscore videos is my username identified by DWBA other is a password for this particular schema or user. So just try to execute it. To execute it, select it, and if you can see here, then icon. Just click on it. See, user just got created. So my user just got created. This user needs some permissions to create tables, to execute queries, uh, to insert data. For that, we need to give privileges. To give the privileges, I'm defaultly giving a DBA privileges to my user, DWBA at the videos. For that, we need to write a query, grant DBA to your user. And now run your statement. Right, grant succeeded. So now we are going to create this particular connection. So now again, click on plus symbol here. Here you can provide your connection name. And my username is DWB at underscore videos. Password is the password which I have given. And same here, connection type is basic, role is default. Change your service name to OCL. 
just click on test is success and click on connect good now we are in dwb are done user so in this user we are going to create tables we are going to insert the data we are going to query the table thank you guys